Hi, I'm Avery Davidson. And I'm Kristen Oaks White. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. And as you can see, this is a special edition of our show because obviously we are not in Louisiana. You don't see terrain like this over around South Lafourche Parish. We are coming to you from beautiful Santa Barbara County, about 95 miles north of Los Angeles. And the agriculture here is extremely diverse, from beautiful flower farms to avocados to vineyards to the most most delicious fruits and vegetables. Agriculture is big business in Santa Barbara County with a crop value of $1.8 billion a year. We're here with Louisiana farmers and ranchers on a special agricultural tour organized by the Louisiana and Santa Barbara County Farm Bureaus. A group of Louisiana farmers and ranchers who grow everything from crawfish to sugarcane to cattle spent two days touring California agriculture. They traveled up and down Highway 101 to see firsthand the diverse agricultural production operations you'll only find here in California. Now here's where that diverse California agriculture affects us all. California avocado growers came to the rescue of the rest of the country when USDA avocado inspectors left Mexico in February because of threats made against them. Yeah, the growers here hurriedly went into their orchards and picked the larger avocados. Elwood Ranch in Goleta, California grows about 100 acres of, of avocados and 100 acres of lemons on the hills and valleys of Santa Barbara County. The entrance to Elwood Ranch is inviting and warm, warm enough for this fence lizard to sun itself. This ranch dates back to the original Spanish land grants in California, but back then it was much bigger and at one time belonged to a man named Elwood Cooper, hence the name of the ranch. It now belongs to the Doty family. Russell and his father Ken run the farm, but you have to hear how it came into the family. The story goes that the oldest Doty brother, um, Ed, came to a, an estate auction and he was going to buy a team of mules and found out the price of the land was so good they ended up with somewhere around 2200 acres. The ranch is now 900 acres with only 200 in production agriculture, 100 acres of lemons and 100 acres of avocados. Lemons are, are, are a hardy tree and, and they're going to grow and they're going to produce fruit. Um, the avocados are a little more sensitive, you know, around here we kind of talk about how Lemons are, are, you can mess with them, you can, you know, hit them with a, a tractor, whereas uh, avocados, you look at them crossways and they, they curl up and die. Isn't that neat? Red River Parish produce grower Jason Anderson knows the struggles of growing fresh fruit. He grows peaches on his farm and is especially interested in the avocados and is curious why there are still so many on the trees. I just could not believe that they were still there and some had been there for several, several months. And as we learned, an avocado does not mature until you pick it. And then when it's shipped and gets to the grocery store, well, then it's pretty much ready to eat. The fact that avocados can stay on the tree is a bit of a blessing for the Dodies, especially when there's a disruption of imports from Mexico. At this point in time, Mexico is, is the dog and we're the tail. So we need to pick and choose our spots where we come in. And, and when uh, the inspectors got kicked out of Mexico, I believe by the cartels, uh, it created a big window for us and prices skyrocketed and if you were lucky enough to have, have a, contractors um, lined up, you were, you're going to make some money on it. What costs the Dodies a lot of money is water. Russell says it can cost him at least $1,000 each time he starts his pumps. It would be nice to have you know, unlimited water, but unfortunately in California we go, it seems like, a, like about a seven year cycle, at least it feels like to me where we're, we're good for seven years and bad for seven years. And, uh, you know, this year, unfortunately, we only got 12 inches of rain. We're almost all the way through our rainy season, and it doesn't look like we're going to get anything anytime soon. Being from back home in Louisiana, we're not used to having to pay super high prices for water, so they have a lot more input cost here just trying to keep their plants alive. For Anderson and his family, it really is a learning experience, yeah. one that will inspire yeah. him when he gets home. This is just the first day on the tour and we have seen so much, it's mind blowing. It's just, it's, you can't imagine how many grapevines, how many avocado trees, how many lemon trees. So yes, there's a lot of stuff that we'll take back. 